Hey guys, I wanted to bring you back with another review. This is the NECA 1 4th scale Jason Voorhees from Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, one of my favorite movies out there. Uh, this Jason is very detailed. He, My tripod's a little bit small for these types of figures, so you're going to be looking at them in an awkward angle. Uh, just for a little bit, and then I'll hold it, and then see everything normally. But, uh... This figure does not have a lot of articulation at all, just arms and head, as well as hands. Uh, very cool figure. He has a lot of detail. Uh, parts on the jacket, such as right there, that look extremely shiny, are supposed to be like that. A lot of people that have come over to see this figure said that it looked like uh, paint that chipped off over the years, because I bought this... Uh, brand new in the box, and his mask actually molded to his face. So for the first week or so, I couldn't actually get that mask off. It was, like, glued on his face, so luckily, uh, I got it off. I didn't heat it up or anything, I just pulled it off. Thank God I didn't rip anything, but... I'll show you some articulation right now, not too much. Just simple, if I can get it to work, there you go. Rotation at the upper arm over by the shoulder, and then rotation at the elbow, as well as, it's not going to do it here for me, is it? No, th this hand isn't rotating for me, rotating for me right before the review, no, it's not going to rotate at all, as well as in this arm, pull out his machete just so you can see the detail on this, that is a very nice looking machete, definitely compared to the 2009 remake figure, and the... Uh, I think it was part 8, Jason, that they made. I do not have that one. I'm going to be getting that one, because that one's, um... It does feature the sound, and I definitely want a sound and motion-activated Jason. This one is not, which kind of is upsetting. Now, I've always thought, uh, you guys tell me in the comments, I've always thought when I took off his mask, his head kind of looked like Squidward from an angle, if you look at him like that, with the head. That's just me. <laughs> Mask does have nice detail compared to the other Jason 2009 remake. Uh, no hair on the straps, but there is hair attached to his head. Oh, I'm back in a little bit. There you go. There's really no more articulation. However, his one accessory, well, actually, his one of three accessories, I say that the mask is an accessory, as well as the machete is his extra hand, which is used for if you have a NECA 1 4th scale uh, Freddy Krueger figure, which I did have one a really long time ago. He broke, and then I bought myself a new one. Therefore, I do have the original head to my original figure, so I could show you how this works. Take the hand, take this. You do need a rubber band. But it's still pretty cool. Have him holding it like he did at the end of the movie. Now, if you're wondering where the peg is, basically in this hand, if you pull out the hand, my peg is kind of stuck in the hand, so I'm going to have to heat it up one day, if I ever get around to doing that. Pop it out, and once I found, find my bag of 1,500 rubber bands, wherever that ended up, I could do this. <laughs> but at the moment, no idea where that bag went. <laughs> Has very nice detail on the jeans right there. Very shiny, I like it because it definitely shows that it's there. It's not, you know, one of my plain figures. You can tell that this is here. It's a very vibrant looking Jason, as well as a menacing looking Jason. Undershirt, very nice with all the holes in the shirt and everything. Come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, I figured out how to focus it now because not using, you know, like a professional camera or anything, I'm using my phone. <laughs> but, not too bad, I definitely like this figure. I'll give it a... Mm, I'll give it an eight and a half. Not going out any higher just because he's not the... He doesn't do anything, he's there to look cool. Doesn't have a whole lot of articulation like the Predator did. Um, also that thing got a lot of, a lot of views, thank you for that, uh, he had, um, 
he does do the job for he reminds me more of a sideshow collectibles or hot toys figure just because he just stands there there's not much to do with him like you know I do have a sideshow figure that there will be a review on but the thing is you know it's just I don't know there's it's just to me a sideshow figure you just put them on display, that's it. You don't pose them or anything. That's just me, especially with premium format, because you really can't pose them. I, d I want the premium format pinhead. I'm working on getting that, guys. If I get that, uh, I will do a review on that as soon as I get it. I'm hoping I'll get it soon, but as for right now, sit on the Jason here. So... Remember to like, favorite, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.